protesters in southern New Mexico are outraged over Roswell's Animal Welfare Department. They say the city is killing an unprecedented amount of dogs and cats, even the healthy ones. New at 5, KOAT Action 7 News anchor Angela Brower looks into the issue. Dozens of phone calls into our newsroom, emails, and Facebook posts. People upset that Roswell Animal Control is killing dogs and cats every single day. It's extremely heartbreaking. Joe McInerney runs a rescue group in Roswell but says new policies and procedures are making it impossible for her and other rescues to help a downhill situation. It's just not a good situation. She says the policies were implemented right after a dog attack that happened last June. Joe claims they're so strict. Adoptions are difficult. The shelter is now full. And looking at the policies ourselves, we saw dogs have just seven days to be adopted, cats four, or they're euthanized, even newborn puppies and kittens. We can't, in good conscience, let this occur. A police spokesperson said that he was not allowed to do an interview with us, but he said while this list is long with most of the causes saying dogs and cats are just simply out of time, he says it's just bad record keeping. He says a lot of those euthanizations are due to animals being sick or aggressive. That spokesperson says he thinks the city is doing the best they can with the resources they have. Lots of people disagree. They're putting up billboards like these and want people to write to the city now to try and stop things from getting worse. Angela Brower, KOAT, Action 7 News.